This video is the first video in a series of five videos that will talk about the five things that I use for fighting hair loss or concealing my hair loss that I find to be the most effective and have been the most effective for me since, you know, I started fighting my hair loss in 2013. So if you find value in this video, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can be updated when I drop the next one in the series. And if you don't know who I am, my name is DJ from formerly known as Carrots and Brotherhood. Just do a YouTube search for Carrots and Brotherhood. I have a whole library of videos related to everything hair loss. Okay, now my channel is not specifically hair loss anymore, but uh, I figured for this video, I would bring it back to my roots. No pun, no pun intended. Uh, bring it back to the roots and refresh the new guy's memory on what you should be doing to fight your hair loss. Because it seems that no matter <laughs> how many videos people put out about hair loss, people still don't know what to do for their hair loss. <laughs> so here we go. We'll start with number one, the easiest and the cheapest, minoxidil. Guys, minoxidil is over the counter. You can go into any drugstore, Walgreens, if you live in the States, Rite Aid, you go to Walmart, go to the, if you're in the military, go on a base to the BX, that, Minoxidil is right there. You can get it far cheaper online. I believe you can get Kirkland from uh, Amazon for like 10 bucks for like a three month supply. It's dirt cheap and you don't need a prescription. Now there's two types of Minoxidil that people usually look for, liquid and foam. And in my personal experience, I've been, like, I've been doing this for fucking years, man. I find that I get better results from the liquid, although it is quite inconvenient to use on a daily basis because it has to dry. You know, you have the propylene glycol that stays wet on your scalp for, you know, an hour to an hour and a half after applying it. That could be a bit, you know, frustrating, especially if you got things you got to do and you go about your, you know, your day. You don't want to walk around with a wet head looking like you had a jerry curl, except there's no curl, it's just wet scalp <laughs> okay so you understand that if you're going to use liquid you might see better performance i i personally have seen better performance from using a liquid formulation but foam is also an option foam dries within like five minutes not even five minutes like three minutes it's ready to go and it's uh, quite easy to apply i have videos about applying both liquid and foam i'll put a link up here you can click that and it'll tell you how to use minoxidil but understand if you're not <laughs> using minoxidil and you're talking about fighting your hair loss well i don't know what you're doing because it's literally the cheapest most cost effective way to regrow your hair now it does come with its own range of side effects i got videos about that too matter of fact i put the whole minoxidil playlist right here for you but in my experience i never really dealt with side effects in in, the, in like the serious ones i've heard of people having heart palpitations dizziness lightheadedness i don't ever have any problems with that but i did notice that I was getting like dark circles under my eyes which is one of the side effects that you could experience but everybody's experience keep saying experience everybody's mileage will vary I feel like it's hot in this booth man shit i do voiceover which is why i'm sitting in here and uh this is my recording space uh but it's hot as fuck in here <laughs> but the end result is generally the same you can expect to see hair regrow within two to three months of using it. If you're using it for one month and you haven't seen anything growing, don't stop. Because this is where people mess up, all right? It takes about a month and a half to three months, depending on what stage of the hair cycle your hair is in, the follicle, to see growth. And if you happen to be at the beginning of the hair cycle, uh, it could take you three months. So if, imagine if you need three months to regrow your hair with minoxidil and you stop at a month, well, you're not gonna see anything. And when you discontinue minoxidil, you will shed whatever it is that you gained from minoxidil. And it happens very fast. Like if it took you a month um, of usage to get a bit of growth, you could lose all that as soon as the minoxidil is out of your system. You'll start shedding those hairs within a week or two weeks in, in, in your, if you're lucky, like a month. But they, they fall out pretty quick. So minoxidil is one of those things you have to use consistently every day forever. <laughs> <laughs> forever i've been using minoxidil every day well with the exceptions obviously things happen but every day since 2014 i've been using it every day um, is it inconvenient sometimes uh, when especially you have things like, like i said you have things you got to do the liquid one could be a bit inconvenient here's what i do to solve that issue if you are one of those people that has to wake up and get out the door quick go foam okay uh, like i said in my experience it's slightly less effective but you don't have to worry about that downtime. Question of the day. If you use minoxidil, how often do you use it? And do you prefer the liquid or the foam? Drop it in the comments down below. Um, and if you're applying it twice a day, I only apply once a day. Um, I made a video about this as well, which is better, once a day or twice a day. Check it out. Uh, but I find that using it once a day is enough for me. But if you're gonna use it twice a day, which is what they recommend on the label, uh, then 
you probably want to apply liquid at nighttime. That way you take a shower, apply it, let it dry while you do whatever it is you do before bed and you're good to go and use foam in the morning. There's ways around it. So with minoxidil, understand one, that it is a lifetime commitment for as long as you want to maintain and continue to regrow hair, you, you gotta continue using it. If you discontinue minoxidil, you will shed whatever it is you gained, plus the healthy hairs that were boosted by the minoxidil in the surrounding areas, because it does have a very wide area of effect minoxidil. Meaning if you apply it and it stops here, you're still affecting the hairs below wherever it is you stopped. So these hairs are being boosted with minoxidil. They're being you know, stimulated to grow they could potentially shed out as well, which is why a lot of people say that minoxidil caused their hair to fall out um, and they quit using it and then much more hair fell out and it just builds on itself. You get what I'm saying? The hair, if it's healthy, will regrow uh, over its life cycle, okay? So if your hair, healthy hair shed out um, and you're like, oh fuck, my hair's falling out, I gotta quit minoxidil. One to three months later, that, that healthy hair will regrow. If it's not being you know attacked by dht at the follicle base and everything then you will regrow the hair you understand so there's so much misinformation and i'm not the person to give you like the chemical interactions and all of that shit. that's more plates more dates you can check his channel out if you want like the the detailed specifics um or maybe like kevin man you can check his channel out but just understand generally for most people use it consistently every day over an extended period of time you will see growth wherever you apply it Okay? Anyways, guys, my name is DJ from My Name is DJ, formerly known as Carrots and Brotherhood. I'll see you in the next video.